Hello, my name is Jimmy Costello from the NX product marketing team, and today we are going to be taking a look at how we can utilize different render options to optimize our experience using Ray Trace Studio visualization. We are beginning with a coffee machine with predefined materials and colors. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the render tab at the top of the screen and select Ray Trace Studio. When this is done, a new window will open up with a higher quality image of our assembly. When this window is open, our image that is displayed will continuously improve quality with each iteration counted in the upper left hand corner. The first setting I want to explore is the render mode that the display is set to. There are three render modes we can choose from. The first option is photo real. With this setting, our display will be of the highest quality, though performance speed may be hindered. The second option is quality interactive. This gives a strong balance between quality and performance. The third option is fast interactive. This setting is best used when performance is the priority, however quality comes second. For our purposes, we are just going to stick with the photoreal render mode. The next thing to notice is the brightness slider at the bottom of the screen. Here we can brighten or darken our rendered image and easily adjust to fit our needs. With our dynamic render settings now ready, I'm going to put the Ray Trace Studio window side by side with our original coffee machine. As you can see, we get a much higher quality render, which is very useful in perfecting the product's final image. The next thing I want to look at is the settings we can set for our static image output. To do this, we must select the Ray Trace Studio Preferences. Here, we can select the image file format, size, and length of the render duration. Longer render durations will produce higher quality images. With all of our settings now selected, we can select OK and begin to render our static image. This static image is a great tool to show off your designs at the final stages of production. Once finished, to save, we can just select the Save Image icon at the top of the Ray Trace Studio window. With our static image now finished, I want to recap everything we have went over. To begin, we explored our dynamic render settings, looking at the render mode options and setting our brightness. Next, we compared our Ray Trace Studio result to our initial model to see differences in quality, material, and lighting. And finally, we investigated settings to optimize our static image results and looked at how to save our image. I would like to thank you for your time and attention.